Hello, welcome back to the Road to Gloria. I think this is episode four now, is it? I think. Uh, we're going to go into Ultimate Team, obviously. Uh, I've got Rivals Awards from last weekend. I didn't get enough uh, Rivals points early enough to enter Weekend League last weekend. Um, so we're going to be entering Weekend League this weekend. Uh, so I bet our next rewards will be next weekend. Um, but yeah, I just I've started up the game. We got a title update. I'm playing on PC, so updates seem to come through quicker. I think they were like a week earlier than console. Um, so it, just reading through it quickly, uh, they've made adjustments to the team press, uh, decreased the amount of time the team press that dick can be active for. That's quite good. So it's active. Once team press is requested, it takes two seconds to active. Okay, that's good. Because team press is so overpowered. You can just press it and just get out of situations that... Um, in situations where the defending team is using team press and recovers possession, team press will not automatically remain active on the following loss of possession. Okay, so that... Does that mean like when you team press, win the ball back, it cancels team press, so the next time you lose it, your team won't go again if that makes sense so you'll have to manually do it again that's quite a good adjustment because a lot of people just sit on it and they just push you further further and back and you just can't get out so that that is a very good um adjustment for me team press is one of the biggest things that i seem to hate like in terms of skills and things i don't mind uh but team press is like it takes no skill you press a button and you get a goal from it pretty much um so they made adjustments to step over and reverse step over don't really they didn't really need to do that i know they were overpowered but at the end of the day we're just going to start passing sideways and no skill moves that are effective so uh both skill moves are no longer considered easy skill moves uh, the animations of skill moves have been slowed down um yeah the goalkeeper sometimes gets stuck to the net uh that's good uh, but yeah, I think they're more buggy fix these these ones. Um, so in terms of changes, they have made, I would say, good changes. Apart from the step overs, um, obviously step overs were a little bit overpowered. Like you got a boost out of them. But at the end of the day, what else is there to do in this game that is overpowered? There's literally nothing. Um, so in terms of attacking, it's going to be a massive struggle. Um, so yeah, sold a few players. I was slowly building the team. Uh, I will show you what I've got so far. Uh, I was going to save it for the end. Uh, but yeah, this is what I am aiming to build for the weekend coming up. Uh, we've still got Yedda. Uh, we've still got Dembele. We've still got Sissoko, Gomez. I don't, can't remember if Gomez and Wambazaka... Oh, Wambazaka definitely was. I don't know about Gomez. Um, but this is a team we're going to aim for. Uh, I've grinded out Graven Birch and Van Bergen. They look really good players for like a budget team like i haven't got too much cash at the moment um so they're going to come in graven birch looks quite overpowered he'll be fine and van bergen he's got the pace so um we got promise up front as well so i was going to make these changes into the team obviously mendy everyone runs mendy is probably like one of the best left backs obviously after like a kuna uh, but in terms of budget left back he is probably the best you want to go for and I went Lenglet here because I do need that French link uh, into Sissoko. And I just... Lenglet's card looks crazy. It's just the pace that you worry about. But he's got acceleration more than sprint speed. Though. I think that's going to help him a lot. Uh, I did use him when the game very, very first came out. And he did seem really good. But obviously at this time now, I don't know if he's going to appear that well. Uh, or play that well. Uh, we do have this bum gartle if that's how you say it um but i was trying to fit him in i just couldn't get chem to work it just a lot i had to go like klosterman instead of gomez but then i just felt like it messed up the team more than it benefited it so i didn't bother with that um but yeah that is pretty much the team up days uh, i got a few super subs i think i showed that before uh but anyone who like hasn't seen these team upgrades do check out my twitch i do stream on my twitch like i was grinding rivals all last weekend 
Uh, so anyone who came out to that really do appreciate it. Absolute legends. Um, so I don't think I finished all 30 games of Rivals. So hopefully we did manage to get rank one. Yes, we did. So we got 65k. I am going to take 65k. Um, I know the packs are so tempting. Rare players, prime gold players. But in terms of this team right now, I need coins. I need coins badly and guaranteed coins at that. Um, so I'm going to get the 65k. We're going to buy. I know it's very boring. It's not content. It's uh, But next weekend, it will be content because this is just to get the first team ready uh, for the weekend league. And then from there, we can keep building coins, packs, and all this sort of stuff. So that makes us sit on 102k. I am going to invest that in these three players here. I think Larissa is about 40k, I'd expect. Lenglet are probably about 15, 12k. And Mendy is going to be around 40k as well. So 100k should buy these three players. Um, and yeah, I'll be back when I've done that. I don't know why. I think this is a bad time to buy Lenglet. Maybe there's some sort of um, squad builder that has come out or something because he is 23k. Is that not a lot of money for Lenglet? I don't know if to go for him now. I don't think there's any other options though. Uh, so let's see how much Larice is. You don't want Larice with a shadow. So Larice is going to, I'm expecting around 40k. Oh, he's 35, but that's okay. Uh, so we will be able to afford Lenglet as well. So I'm going to buy Lenglet as well and I'll be back in a second. Uh, I think this is a very poor buy for this amount of coins. But we are going to buy Lenglet for 23.5k. For some reason, I feel like that's quite expensive. Uh, I haven't looked at Footbin recently, but it's just gut feeling. If he does us well, we are going to be doing well this weekend. Oh, of course, he doesn't go in there because it's the Champions League version that I brought. Uh, gets us some rewards. I do need... A French manager. Sorry, I know. I'm <laughs> I start talking about one thing and I just get excited and go on to something else. But I need a French manager from the Prem uh, to boost these guys just to 10 chem. Uh, Gomez and those guys are fine. Uh, Netherlands guys, they're absolutely fine. They've got strong links up there. Uh, it's just about getting Tissoko on 8. Um, getting Yedda to 8. Dembele to 10. And Lenglet to 10. So... Let's go buy a French manager. Okay, so we, I just brought the first cheapest manager. He's bronze and I had no idea who he is. But if we slap on a league as well. Yes, we got a Premier League uh, card there. That pushes Yedda up to 8 and that gets everyone else onto 10. That team is looking good. Uh, custom tactics I'm going to run that for this weekend. Uh, most probably uh, 4 4 2. Uh, well, I kind of want to put Sissoko on the right because he's so bad with his weak foot. We want to go Yeda up front. I'm going to run Promise on the right hand side, Van Bergen on the left. Instructions are going to keep the same before. And yeah, I'm going to go into a rivals game. And just uh, test out the team quickly, give you guys a live game. Because I know this has been a very boring episode in terms of content. Uh, so let's get a game in here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I believe we are in Div 2 now. Oh, that team, <laughs> what is going on there? So I think we're in Div 2 now. So this um, is going to be a little bit harder than usual. Uh, I did start in Div 4 and I found it very easy. Um, I was quite big headed, but I generally did. Um, I was winning every game, even friendlies when I was going into friendlies because you get matched at people at like Div, Div 4. I was just flying through the objective games so quickly. There we go, Gravenberg for the first goal. The guy just didn't press me then, so I just kept running. Like, I, I advise people to get that into your game. like. I was a massive, massive like guy who would just passed the ball needlessly. The more I start to run with the ball, the better I am, a, a better player I am. 
Because people seem to just tend to like back off. Oh, my centre backs are the wrong way round. Because I was running Wambasaka as a centre back. And he seems to have switched with Gomez like in game. So I will have to change that. Yeah, that's a poor ball, really. Alright, let's recycle it into Dembele. Ooh, unlucky. Good chance. Let's quickly just swap Juan Basaka and Gomez. I need to change the tactics on that. Swap them over. Because you don't want Gomez playing right back. That is not what you want to see. Oh, damn it. I don't know why I just feel like I defended that well. <laughs> My centre back just completely moved out the like wrong position. But oh well. He's got uh, a really good team. I don't think I've played badly. So uh, we'll just keep going like this. Well, how's that not a foul? Okay. He's got some really good players here. Oh, that is such bad defending. Thank God for the keeper. Oh, I thought I could play that ball then. Okay, so this guy knows about all the skills and overpowered skills, so I just gotta be careful. It's very good. Well, wow. didn't expect him to cover that angle. I'm very open through the middle at the moment. Considering this guy's just passing sideways, like, I'm happy for him to do that. Because something like that always happens. My finger just slipped off the analog stick. I literally just had dinner, so they're a little bit like greasy. Oh my god. Definitely not playing very well. God damn it. That was such bad defending. Hey, it's the it's the episode curse though, right? <laughs> Whenever I record an episode, I have to lose. I don't think I've won on an episode. God damn it. I, I am defending so bad though. This guy knows how to play this game. He's so passive. It's how you have to play. Like he doesn't take a, a touch forwards. When he gets to his strikers, it's always backwards. And that's how you want to play on this FIFA. Keep the ball. Don't give the ball away. Oh wow, really? Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Excellent block. Into Dembele again. Dembele. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. There we go, yeah dot. Created a little bit of space. I know they said that they patch step overs, but they're still gonna be effective. You're just not gonna get that boost that you normally would. 
Logans. That's better defending. Well, Can't promise. He just needs to keep Unlucky. A head. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Set pieces, they're so important. Listen to that noise, Derek. Listen, it's awesome. Holland. Now with Rashford. Brilliant piece of skill. Rashford. Holland. Excellent defending. Well done, Langley. What? Was that just Sissoko's pass that was so bad? I didn't really see it then because I was looking at the radar, but. I definitely need to sort my depth out or something because. He's got so much space in the midfield. Shizuko. That's a good pass. Say, this looks Little one over the top. Oh, good finish, Yedda. We take those. So we turned the game around. We're back in the lead. So this is time to lose it again. Because this is an episode. I can't win. I can't win in an episode. There we go. Hey, what is the point of tackling so on, right? Felt like I had the guy in the right place. Alright, so I was winning for literally about a minute. This game's been stressed so far. <laughs> oh. Relax. And relax. And breathe. Piece of skill. Dembele. Well, the attack looks promising. Good pass into Yedda. Little touch. Yes, Yedda. That's why you need Ben Yedda in a budget team. He has that turn in, he has that finish, and it's deadly. Deadly. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position. And Here he goes. Runs with Cantona again. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? That's played. Van Bergen, use your pace. Yet it's free. What the hell did Yedda just do? I literally pressed the pass here and he just kicked thin air. Yes. Oh, Wambasaka. Should have been yours all day. Well done. They all back off there, just messed up his pass. Oh, that was the right pass. It was just a very poor pass. Now with Cantona. Moving it forward. No way is that pass ever going to work. And that will be offside. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Oh, that's so poor. That's so rushed and ah, oh, that's terrible. Rashford. And the ball's gone. See, that's why you just get Mendy. He's got pace. He's got strength. He's got defending. He's got everything you need in a left back. Dembele. Don't Dembele make that run? That's it. it oh, that's a poor shot. Should have took my time and a bit of patience then. A bit of composure. I feel like I know where I play wrong, but it's just your instincts, isn't it? It's just. Rashford, and here's Zanetti. Holland. Oh, he was overloading me there. He was getting players in places I couldn't defend. Well done, Sissoko. That little touch was huge. Oh, grab a bunch. That touch was so bad. Oh, wow. Oh, Wambasaki, you got to get back in there. Oof. Antonar was flying in. 
Grandma Birch has turned him. Poor. I'm so poor in areas like that. Yes, Langlet, that's all you need to do. I haven't got the pace, just defend this space. Oh, that was like some sick lyrics or something. Reverend Birch feels a little bit rubbish. He was so good in the friendlies and things, but obviously this is different kettle of fish. Playing against icons and stuff. Oh, God's sake. Alright, let's get our super subs on. Grandma Birch is going to come off for... Do I go... Yeah, I'll go Chan. He's more solid. This is where I can go and chuck Van Bergen up front, I think. I feel like I still need Yedda there. Just the two strikers get absolutely ruined in terms of their fitness. Yeah, I've got to take him off. Let's put Martins there and let's put Carrasco up top. Play Van Bergen up top as well. How have you not intercepted that? Oh my god, how on earth you got out of that? Joao Felix. Now with Cantona. Carl Toko Ekambi with it. Oh no. It's such that's offside. Well, that was such bad defending then. Gomez. Mitchell van Bergen. Oh poor. He's got a press on. Why am I doing stupid passes like that? Trying to lure me in with one of these one twos and as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. This That's a good skill move. No, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, he's the last line of defense. Oh, right. Flatten me. Oh my god, this game. Yes, Chan. That's why I put him on instead of Beckham, because Beckham's not going to do that. That's what I love to see. Into Van Bergen. Little dink. That is so bad. Why does he run round the ball to cross it? Yes, Lloris. A little bit of pace about the keeper. Sizoko. And five minutes to go. Carrasco. Carrasco. Oh. You know, he wishes he could have that header back. Well, what was it again, really? Got two minutes left. Oh, I've won it back. Oh, Van Bergen, man. Can't miss chances like that. Oh, I've intercepted it again. How and where has my team gone? Oh, it's a pen. I'm an idiot. God damn it. He's looking to the right. He's only done it quickly, so he's going to go left. Yeah. Read him like a book there. Yeah? Yes, love that, Lloris. 
What have I just done? What have I just done? Like, what am I doing? Got some. Oh my god! Oh, I nearly a pen again. Gone Lenglet. Love that. Like, see, that's the thing with Team Press. You just can't get out at all. At least we won. It was a bit of a grindy win. I didn't play the best. So, like, I was. I played it awful. Like, I could not defend that game. <laughs> Maybe it's the new patch. They might have changed something to do with uh, defending as well. But we got the dubs. So that's all we need to do in champs. Just get the dubs when we shouldn't. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the team. And I'll see you next time.